so in today's uh, lecture we'll see uh, the activities derived the frequency equation of longitudinal vibrations for fixed at one end and free at other end so uh, the rod is fixed at one end so there is a rod or a bar which is subjected to an axial loading and it is fixed at one end and free at other end and we know that uh, whenever there is uh, fixed end that means displacement of the bar is zero and at free end the strain is zero strain is zero that means change in length upon original length is zero or rate of change of displacement with respect to distance is zero so del u by del x is zero at x equal to l so the length of the shaft is l so here value of x is l and del u by del x is zero and uh, at fixed end the displacement is zero now here we know that the general solution for the longitudinal longitudinal vibration is given by this so here at x equal to 0 at x x ki value yahan pe kya hai 0 hai so this will be 0 equal to we put uh, the value of x as 0 so sin 0 is 0 and 0 into a is 0 and b into cos is cos 0 is 1 so here only b is remaining and uh, this entire term will be divided by 0 so value of b is 0 so here we'll put the value of b as 0 so this uh, equation is reduced to a sin omega n upon c into x multiplied by c sin omega n t plus b cos omega n t now we will differentiate with respect to x so del u by del x is equal to so the this sign becomes cos so a omega n upon c cos omega n upon c into x multiply by c sin omega n t plus b cos omega n t now we put uh, del u by del x as 0 when x equal to l so put the value of x as l so this is 0 is equal to a omega n c cos omega n upon c into l and this is divided by 0 so this becomes 0 now here this term is again 0 so cos omega n l upon c is equal to 0 and we know that cos can be 0 so cos can be 0 at n into pi by 2 is equal to 0 so cos 90 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so pi by 2 is 0 so where n is the value of n is 1 comma 2 comma 3 and n is number of modes number of modes so we can say that this we can equate this with this term so omega n l upon c or the wave propagation velocity n pi by 2 so therefore omega n is equal to n pi by 2 into c divided by l and c we know c is wave propagation velocity which is given by under root e by rho for longitudinal vibration so we put the value of omega n equal to n into pi under root e upon rho upon twice, twice l so this is 
this is the uh, the frequency equation uh, for uh, this fixed free type and fn you can find out as omega n upon 2 pi so this is n into pi upon 2l under root e by rho divided by 2 pi so this 2 2 becomes 4 so pi pi will get cancelled so fn is equal to n upon 4l under root e upon root so this is that formula frequency expression for this particular condition now here you can put uh, the value of omega n uh, in this uh, general solution and you can find out the general solution uh, equation as well where the value of uh, the value of b will be zero so this term will be zero you put the omega n value as this one and you can find out the general expression also so thank you for watching thank you